Khalil Saeed. I'm the Destination Marketing Director at the Department of Culture and Tourism in Abu Dhabi. Good morning. Thank you very much for taking a few moments to speak to us today. My pleasure. We're here at World Travel Markets in London. Um, it's been a very successful year for the Emirates. Tell me a little bit about uh, the moves in Abu Dhabi tourism this year. Um, so we've had a very good year so far. Uh, we've seen successes across the board, whether it's from a destination development aspect, but also the usual visitor numbers and hotel guests. So uh, we've had a 3% increase in hotel guests overall from all of the markets, uh, with a uh, 3.8 million hotel guests uh, numbers up to and including September of this year. Um, the usual suspects are always there. You have your uh, UKs, your India, your China, and Germany and the USA. But we've also been pleasantly surprised with some markets like South Korea, like Switzerland, uh, and others in the Middle East and across uh, Africa, such as Nigeria, uh, that have shown double-digit growth uh, over uh, year on year. It's successful for the long term, the portfolio of uh, markets to draw from. Definitely. We, we want to make sure that we are uh, spreading uh, our eggs in different baskets, as, as they say. And uh, we always tap up these markets to see the potential. And if there is that uh, growth that demands our attention, we then go in and actually have operations and a uh, more um, targeted uh, marketing uh, Let's effort. See. Etihad, the flag carrier, they're doing their part. They've just partnered with Air Arabia to develop a new low-cost airline. Yes. Will that open new segments for, for the destination? Definitely. So um, the, the element of connectivity uh, is something that we are very keen and very excited to actually uh, come through uh, for the Emirates and the city to basically open up new markets for us. Um, there is always a limitation uh, with targeting markets, especially regionally, because of the lack of services that, that some of the countries uh, may have. Again, we've seen growth coming in from the CIS, but when you look at the connectivity, um, it's, it's not as good as the demand deserves. So we definitely are very, very excited to see Air Arabia work with Etihad to uh, grow exponentially the number of visitors coming into Abu Dhabi. We're moving into November now, a very exciting time of the year, every year for Abu Dhabi. The Formula One Grand Prix just around the corner. Yes. Uh, the Formula One has proven year and year again that it is a world-class event that puts Abu Dhabi on the map. Um, I have yet to hear any bad review from any tourist, visitor, resident in Abu Dhabi about the Formula One and the activities around it. So it's always a fun time, it's always a good time, and it's always something that we are very proud to host in Abu Dhabi and something that we would like to replicate as well. So um, I don't know if you've heard about the UFC uh, uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, it was one of those uh, activities that we wanted to basically replicate the success of the Formula One in Abu Dhabi with a major event across Abu Dhabi Showdown Week. And it also was a very exciting event to host that had positive feedback across the board. And staying with sports, you're unveiling here at WG, uh, World Travel Markets uh, the world's largest cl indoor climbing wall. Yes, uh, again, Yas Island, lots of development happening. Uh, we have Climb that's opening up in November of this year. Uh, it will have the world's highest indoor uh, climbing wall alongside the world's widest skydive indoor wind tunnel as well. So again, just uh, breaking records. Uh, it's great for us as Abu Dhabi residents, but it's always great to give more options for our visitors as well. A very exciting time. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Again, my pleasure.